Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today we're going to be discussing timing chains and timing belts. What are the advantages and disadvantages of both of these systems, and how this affects you. So a timing chain is a, is a, is a chain that's very similar to the chain on your bicycle, but instead of powering the, the rear wheel by you pedaling the front, it powers the the cams or any other mechanical components your vehicle is designed to have powered by the, the chain or the belt and uh, this of course the chain is going to be wider thicker stronger than your your traditional bike chain it's going to have different grooves uh, but the operation pretty much of what it does is going to be similar uh, and uh, the main advantages advantages of uh, of chains are that they can last forever. They're he really heavy duty, so on a lot of bigger trucks and V8 motors, you'll always find a timing chain. And I personally like chains. I have a chain on this, my little four-cylinder car here, uh, and uh, there's going to be a few drawbacks to the chains as well. Uh, they can become stretched if not properly maintained and they're very expensive to replace and when you're if you do ever damage your chain because it's uh, you can hear some excessive noise it's slapping against the chain guide or whatever is happening in there you want to make sure that uh, you replace the tensioners as well and uh, don't go cheap on anything anything that touches that chain you want to make sure uh, you swap it out at the same time and the advantages of, uh, of the belt versus the chain is that it's a lot quieter the compounds are getting stronger uh, so they are lasting a little bit longer and the disadvantage of the belt versus the chain is the belts are more likely to break versus the chain and when these belts break or the chain in case that breaks uh, can cause significant engine damage I've had it happen to me on a vehicle right where it hit the recommended replacement period at 60,000 it, it snapped and uh, had to re redo the top of the motor and this is back in the early 90s and I remember it cost me uh, upwards of three thousand dollars for a little Honda Civic so it's pretty significant damage and so I'm a big thumbs up on timing chains but uh, the the other thing with the belts are they are getting better uh, and they're lasting longer so if you're in the market for a vehicle uh, one thing that you should consider besides what kind of gas mileage you get because you're concerned about how much money you're gonna have to spend you may want to consider if it has a timing chain or a timing belt because when this comes up due it can cost anywhere from $300 up to uh, $1,500 right that's a lot of gas right there in case you're you're really on a budget something to pay attention to and let me know what you guys think about this video give the video a thumbs up if you liked it any uh, experiences you guys have had with timing chains or timing belts I've seen both of them go wrong so um, if you guys had an experience like mine where right when the uh, right where the belt is recommended to be replaced that it breaks on you it literally broke right when it was recommended so not a good experience but I would love to hear some of yours and uh, leave your comments below have a great day